19 violent felons and authorities don't know where they are tonight. The city says the controversial rehab program Second Chance suddenly shut down today. But right now, no one can tell us where the final 19 inmates went. Chris Ornelas has been following the late-breaking developments all evening. He's live in the newsroom with our top story, Chris. Well, the city says when they got word this afternoon that something was happening at the property out on the West Mesa, they sent police officers to check it out. Those officers confirmed all the inmates and all the personnel of Second Chance are gone. We went out to Second Chance tonight to see for ourselves what was going on. This school bus suddenly sped off when the driver saw our camera. Then this man came out of the building covering his face and took off. This is what Second Chance looks like tonight. No inmates, no workers. The city says Second Chance vacated the city-owned property without warning. The rehab program was still housing 19 inmates as of Wednesday. Tonight, no one can tell us where they are. I would hope that uh, those individuals were returned to the county, counties once they came from. All this stems from a landlord-tenant dispute between Second Chance and the city. Pete Dinelli says the rehab center violated the terms of its lease. They basically uh, had individuals in there that had no business of being there. The facility was never designed for violent felons. City leaders ordered Second Chance out by the end of January, but it looked like the dispute was headed for court, that is, until this evening. As far as I'm concerned, this is a late Christmas gift. Now the city must decide what to do about the bill they say Second Chance hasn't paid. And it looks like we may be owed some money anywhere between $10,000 upwards to $90,000 in past rents, as well as utilities. Now the city says they may have to sue Second Chance to get their money. We called the president of Second Chance on her cell phone this evening. So far, she hasn't returned our message. Reporting live in the newsroom, Chris Ornelas, Eyewitness News 4. A Second Chance has seen its share of controversy. Some question if the drug rehab facility was a waste of taxpayer money. The center used non-traditional treatment methods like massage and natural diet. The center has also been connected with Scientology because many of the programs used at the facility were developed by founder L. Ron Hubbard. A fallen 